Hello everyone and welcome back to Onyx Plays, where no matter the circumstances, Onyx slays. And from our last episode, we got a man a cushion for his ass. We had a woman use her ass to sit on a tile. And we tricked a two-headed vulture into eating flying meat that... To even the logical people, that wouldn't even make any sense. So, actually about to be finishing the end of Chapter 2 of Ascarpa. All we have to do now is just get the last tile for our hidden Phoenicris chamber. So, let's go right on in. Let's, let's go talk to King Rupert. And Queen Di, of course. So, now, we can try and get this tile. Mm -hmm. would hold this tile perfectly. I feel certain that the formation is something important. Perhaps it even holds access to the lands below. Why then, of course you may take it. <laughs> Thank you, your highness. Mm -hmm. And we got the tile. Yes. Is Lena from Escarpa? Of course. She is my daughter. <laughs> Course. I understand. I know what it's like to miss a loved one. Die, my dear. Why don't you give this boy a piece of your jewelry? That way Lena will know he represents us. Hmm. Oh, brother, are you right in his pocket? Ah, shut up, die. I said, tell her mother sent her this locket. Hmm. Oh, yes. Jesus. I'll say my thoughts about die in a minute. Yeah, Tori. Take this one. See? It has a picture of Rupert and me on the inside. I promise to keep it safe until I find her. Okay. We can automatically say that Rupert, uh, he's not exactly the brightest king you could think of. But Di, I would have to say, she's the most realistic in terms of characters beyond the lands above where you come from I don't know what it is for some odd reason she just seems to be the most realistic but that doesn't mean she's not the nicest person in the world she may be realistic but she's very very rude and everything but I think in Escarpa one of the most realistic acting people is Queen Di so we're actually going to be looking at this locket. And when you click it, of course, you know it opens up to them. And we're actually going to leave it open. And we're going to leave. Well, everyone, say goodbye to the castle. We'll never be seeing it again. Yeah. Bye, Blue Shard. Okay. So now... We're going back down to the hidden Phoenicris chamber. So how is everyone doing today? You know, I'm I'm doing fairly well. You know, just got done eating me some nice dinner. And also you can tell that the woman that was washing her clothes has left, but she left her basket here, which is kind of odd. But yeah, I had some nice dinner today. Um, yeah, I'd say today was, it was good. It was a good day. But, let's see. Now, let's go down these stairs. And also, I don't know what it is. It's just, for some odd reason, I really love the music that goes on in the Phoenicris Chamber part. I just really like it. Um, like, the music's about to play when I go down the tree. I just really like this music. Listen to that, man. That's just epic. Hmm. Climbing the stairs again. Alright, let's finish our fucked up looking face here. 
So I'm gonna put this tile here. I'm gonna rotate it a few times. Now it's time for us to put the final tile in place. And now we gotta rotate it. Everybody ready? We're about to do it. And then you just enter the motherfucker's mouth, which is kind of creepy. But this room actually looks really cool. Like, look at this. This also shows you that not all Phenacris are blue, which is pretty cool. So let's use this Arresty powder, and let's get the fuck out of here. Woo! All right. Chapter 3, Pergola. terrible punishment. Hmm. Welcome to Pergola, everybody. Now, let's click on a few things real quick. Maybe that's what I should do. Transport myself on down through that shard. Now, if you were to try and walk around at all, you would fall. Which is actually what you're supposed to do. Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I'll just use a little more of this arresty powder and continue on down. Whoa! Now, hold on. Now you're actually, right now you're tied up, and you're surrounded by little, little creature people. Now if you aren't, weren't to move after this, they would actually eat you alive. Which I might actually show that. I'm actually going to show them eat Torrin alive. To watch. Yep, Torrin's been eaten alive. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? So, we gotta click on ourselves so, you know, we can actually move.
<laughs> a giant! It's a giant! Village is trampled. Absolutely insane. And also, this is where everyone, we're about to meet Lena. Yep. Let's go meet the sexy Lena. Yeah. Look at this babe. Mm mm. Hi, Lena. You seem to be laying quite neutrally there. Let's talk. That sounds so wrong. That sounds so wrong. Yes! Yes! I'm just joking. No, we must keep talking to her. Hurt you? I believe that this is the part where Torin's balls drop. Like, you know, literally he becomes a man. Right here is when they drop. So what you're supposed to do is originally you're supposed to give her the locket when it's closed. And she's going to think that it's a trick. But I have it already opened. So we're going to show her the locket and that's where she'll become nicer to you. I'm a man. I'm a man. Not a small person. I swear. Yeah. 
Give me that knife in your boot, girl. And that's a nice knife, too. I want you guys to look at this knife. It's a really nice knife. Look at that. That's a really nice knife. Could do a lot of damage. Alright, so let's cut her loose. Oh, here, here's where things get so nice. Oh, uh, Lena. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Look at look at her beauty though, man. Oh man, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Thor became a man. I didn't boogle, fucking you damn fucker. Go away. Mm-hmm. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Mm. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet. Ugh. But I never dared dream we really were. Torrin has become a man. So short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too ugly. Tall, too thin. Ugly. Hair, ugly. Oh my god, later. I think you're anything but normal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Torrid, boy, yeah. What I meant was that you're far above normal. You're you're beautiful. Wonderful. Perfect. Yeah. But my parents must be worried sick. Yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. Yeah, when it comes to this Fina Chris Chamber situation, uh, it's a little bit lengthy and in terms of little uh, miniature mini games. But these mini games aren't really like stupid or corny or anything. Um, I guess you could say they're good enough. You know, so. Okay, here's what you're supposed to do in this one. Is you're supposed to match different color coordinations here. Plus at the same time, where one coordination starts, one will end and start a completely other coordination. So like for example, like uh, all the ones that have um, the red little belts on them. Put them in a line. But then you notice this one has blue sleeves. So that means the ones that have blue sleeves go in its own coordination line. So let's see how fast I can actually do this. So let me see. Okay, uh, you step into the center. Let's see. And you, uh, take his place. Let's see here. Alright. 
let me see here. Mm. I know what I could do. I know what I could do. We'll switch them. And yeah, the hint thing did come up, but I don't need a hint. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, we got the green ones in a row. So let me see how I can do this. Hmm... So now we have the four green in a row. Got the four sleeved ones in a row. So now, let me see how we're going to do this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Switch them around. So, let's see. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so let me see what we got here. So, got them in a row. I think we may have it. Yeah, I believe we got it. Got it! Hurry, Lena. Jump up here. Hashtag Onyx the Smart Machine. But now nah, we're not done yet. We got one more to do. Now, for some reason, Pergola is a, is a, a very short level. But, uh... It's interesting too. So now this one here, we have to do um, singing notes. Now what it is is that these pictures here stand for lowest to highest, highest to lowest. So we we have to get these guys here lined up from lowest to highest in terms of voice pattern. These guys from highest to lowest. So. Let's see what type of line we got today. Let's see here. And usually how you can tell if you have it right is sometimes they'll be lined up in a completely straight line. So let's see what we got here. Let me see if I can get them lined up here. Yeah, I think I'm getting close. Okay. Move them around. Let's see how this is going. Okay. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now they're holding hands. Okay. Hold hands, you guys. Start holding some hands. Hmm. So let me see here. Mm. I bet that door hides a Phoenix. 
Yes, I know, Torn. Alright, so... I'm trying to see if I can get this right. There should be a way to, for them to actually talk. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Just can't remember how to make them talk. Usually I've always known how to. But it's been a good long time since I've played this game. I will work on them in a minute. Okay, so this is going to have to go in a down position. So let's see who is the lowest in the back. Go on over there, guys. Okay. I used to know the pattern. But, uh... Yeah, I know. Hmm. Four dots and a circle. Yeah, this right here can actually be the most boring part here. But hold on. Okay, they're going to hold hands regardless. So what if I'm doing this completely wrong here? The Sopranos usually are the highest. So... Let me see here. Okay. Alright, so now they're holding hands. So that means they're the lowest. Hmm. Because I really don't want to use the hint thing right now. I don't want to. But if this does take too long, I may have to. Just usually they line up in a Pacific way. trying to figure this out guys okay so let's see all right let's take a hint I'm sorry And I took one point away from me. Not all five of them have in common. Hmm. Not entirely. Let me try it again. Look for adjacent bonding. Okay, yeah, I know that. I don't care about my score right now. Okay. Just 
just how do I get them to sing? Let me try one more. The women prefer one side, the men the other. Okay, is that the same one you're gonna give me? Yeah. Still gonna give me the same damn thing. Okay, um let me see. Let me see her. Let me see. Mm. Wait a second. Oh. Oh. I get it. Okay. I'm sorry. I completely forgot that you could do that. I completely forgot that you could do that. Oh my god. I feel so dumb. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. I feel so, so dumb right now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got to do the singing thing. Okay. Now we got to do the singing part. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. That was so bad. Okay. Now, let's see. This is where we got to put them in order here. But it's got to go from lowest to highest. I'm doing that wrong. Okay, now she's in her specific position. So now they got to go down that way. And that was not right for me to do. Okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. I got this. I got this. Okay. Dang it. I keep hitting the one that makes them change that way. Because see, that line right there is how the men are supposed to go. But I can't do that. It has to go the other way. Mm. Hmm. Let's see. We're getting close. There we go. Got it. Hey, for someone that hasn't done it for a good while, that's not bad. That's not bad. Ah, that's it. The pattern was five ascending notes leading to the second nested planet. So that Vena Christ goes back to a scarf. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Torin. Now, we gotta do the men now. So this is gonna go from highest to lowest. So, automatically, I believe I got these two right. I need to get them back, though. Hold on. Or not. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, this part right here can be a complete pain. Okay, wait for a minute. Let me hit the one here with the red. Let me see. It's got to go from highest to lowest. See, that's not the right way. That's going the other way. But yeah, this right here is one of the the more boring parts of this game. So, okay, so these two are out of place. Those three are in perfect position. Well, they were. Okay. Let me see. Maybe not. Somebody is out of place here. Jeez. All right, we're getting close here. We just need the right one in front here. Try this. No. Let's try this. Yeah, because this part right here is actually one of the hardest parts in the game. Is this in particular? And I'm trying to get it because I know for a fact that this this is the most boring part of the game. Because every every game you ever play has the has a boring part. So we should have this real soon. And Onyx isn't the type of guy to look at a walkthrough, so I'm I'm not gonna look at a walkthrough on this. Hmm. We're getting close, but he's out of place. That was even worse line up there. Hmm. No. Think we got it, guys. Think we got it. Got it, yeah. Alright. Doesn't take too long. Oh, Torin, I knew you could do it. You did? But now what? Oh, this part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna forget about you, Lena. Kiss her, kiss her, yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, here we go, guys. I'll be in it after this cutscene, though. But chapter four, Astenia. After many years after Lysentia was exiled to the lands below, this is what she's become. Getting good, man. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna be ending it here. And uh, if you enjoyed what you watched today, click the like button. Leave a comment down below. If you're watching this on VidMe, upvote this video. And as always, it's your friendly neighborhood gaming machine. And I will see you in the next video.